Hi everybody, this is Sithi Readings. And hi Aries, let's see what messages are going to show up for you. This is going to be your next three months predictions reading. We're going to have a look at what messages are going to show up for you from January up until March. In case this reading resonates with you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. In this reading, we will see what's showing up in love, general messages, finance, um, you know, all of that, your finances and all. So let's see. Be careful. Do not take risks. Okay. If you are interested in your 2024 predictions for the whole year, that reading will be in the description box below. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. Some of you may be dealing with someone who's younger than you or this young woman could be you. I feel like you're being told here to not take risks, especially I feel like when it's a, when it comes to your friendships. There's something about friendships. November. Some of you may have uh, started working on something in November. And I see that whatever you were working on, things are going to be coming into fruition. Um, especially projects that you have already started to work towards. I see those projects working for you. Okay. News is on the way. I do, I do feel like there's something really positive uh, happening in the next three months for you. There's a good news coming your way. I also see you much more stable and grounded in your energy. Vacation. Yeah, some of you could also be planning a vacation. Um, let's see. We have tortoise. Slowly but surely, you're getting ahead. Forces may be working against you. Flag. Do not be tempted to, to lower your standards. Solid foundation. Success coming with effort. And March. So something significant is going to happen in your life in March. It could be in regards to a success in your business or in your current job. I'm getting this card of position of authority. And it's coming up with March. So I do feel like a lot of you may be promoted at your work here. Okay. Um, I see money looking really good for you, actually, Aries. Okay. Let's see. Show me more messages, please, for Aries. Candle, you will be shown the way. Someone is going out of your life or there's an end to a situation. Um, I do feel like something is coming to an end in your life, um, Aries. Um, someone could be leaving. Okay, some of you are confused about a current situation in your life. It's like there is a situation that you're worried about, but I feel like it's going to work out for you. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's going to work out for you. But there may be a relationship or a situation that is coming to an end. Okay. Some of you may even have uh, work politics or like, um, you know, there's this energy of negative co-workers that I'm getting here. Um, it's almost like someone doesn't want you to succeed. But I'm not really seeing that as a hindrance, to be honest, because you're doing what you're doing and what you got to do. Um, you're not stopping for nobody. Okay. Okay. 
There may be a situation in which someone's going to try to convince you to lower your standards, Aries, but the message here for you is to not do that. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Karma, you will leap, you will reap what you have sown. And then we're getting this man card dealings or relationship with a man. I also feel like there's a karmic ending here, a karmic cycle, a major, major karmic cycle here is coming to an end. Aries. For those of you who are single, I do see involvement of people here. So yes, I do see people coming your way. Um, some of you could also be very spiritual or like, um, how do I say this? Maybe you're very intuitive or spiritual. I do feel like um, you're also going to be guided. Like it's, it's almost like an energy here of um, you finding your way through a difficult situation. And I'm also getting that your intuition is going to be guiding you forward, okay? I do feel like most of the changes that you will experience, um, they will be career related, okay? Now I am getting here that, you know, for those of you who are single, I do see someone coming your way. I'm getting here marriage in a cup. Some of you may be dealing with a person who's married or I'm seeing an energy of a relationship here in which, you know, there's like someone is with a partner who who is, you know, um, who criticizes them. Is showing me an energy of a partner who criticizes the other person. I do feel like that relationship is going to come to an end. Or some of you may end it yourself. Regardless, there's like a karmic cycle coming to an end. Um, I do feel like there are really good changes coming in your life. There's the solid foundation card. So... I honestly feel like if there is something you have put effort towards, you will see that things will change. Things will change. Show me more, please. What's there for Aries? What's there for Aries? Oops. You're getting the wealth card. Another card fell on the floor. Let me grab it. April. Yeah, I'm getting here. March and April are going to be really good months for you. And no doubt those are your birthday months. Do let me know when's your birthday, Aries, and what are your Aries placements. So March and April are looking significant months for you. There could be something related to your family coming up as well. Um, but with the wealth card here, I do feel like there's like a lot of focus on money. And I kept seeing that for you. <laughs> Okay, like all throughout your reading, I'm seeing this energy of money. Oops, oops, sorry. Look at this. You have March and wealth together. So that's nice. Let's move on to your tarot messages and financial messages, all of that. Okay.
I see this energy of a leadership position or like position of authority, which is something I already told you. But yeah, it is showing me that. Hermit, Virgo energy, Six of Wands, the Sun card, wow. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands, Three of Cups, the Lovers. I do see a lover coming your way or someone coming your way very, very unexpectedly. You have a choice in love here with the Lovers and the Three of Cups. Um... Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands, Six of... Yeah, there's a major closing here of a cycle. You know, something here that was tough. Some of you have been working a lot and you need a break or a vacation. Um, I do see a move here, a possible move in the next three months maybe, or travel plans. Magician for a Wands. And another thing I see here is that if some of you are thinking about putting down payment for on something like maybe for a home or a car, I see you doing that too. Um, however, Aries, I do feel like people are coming your way. Three of Cups and the Lovers. Someone is coming your way very, very unexpectedly. Okay. However, I also see that your guard is up because you're focused on your own happiness. Next three months, I see this card says... Uh, success, uh, recognition, and enthusiasm. And this card also says sex, suck. <laughs> success, recognition, and self-esteem. Okay, sorry. We have um, gracious, practical, capable. So I do feel like some of you are kind of pulling back from an interaction with someone because you feel like the other person keeps taking advantage of you whether that be friends or family where you just keep like you just feel like you keep giving and you're the giving hand okay um I see you very closed off and wanting to be single and I also feel like you're going to be enjoying success in your money, in your career situation. I see you going through this energy of introspection, just focusing on self. There's a lot of focus on self here, okay? And it's like, I, I feel like by the end of February and in March, there is someone coming your way when it comes to your relationships here. Um... Your challenge and advice have something to do with sleeplessness, worry, negativity surrounding a situation, um, feeling very stressed out. Some of you just need a mental break, okay? Um, Four of Pentacles in the reverse is your advice, so I feel like it's telling you to let go. There is something you need to let go of, and it is, it is the thing that causes stress. That's what you need to let go of, is what has been causing you stress. Okay? This card says relationships, emotions, and choices. But you also have the Seven of Swords, which is telling you to be aware, be cautious. For some of you, if you have money, someone could be coming towards you, Aries, because of your money or your social status. So I want you to be careful with that. But I see you meeting people. It's not just one person. I definitely see more than one person coming your way. Okay. And I also see you closing doors. Actually, let's have a look at your person's energy and then I'm going to pick other messages for you. What is what is their person's energy? The person Aries is dealing with, please.
Ace of Cups. Your overall energy in love is the Ace of Cups, Aries. So love is definitely coming your way. There could be a new start in love. I mean, there could... I mean, Ace of Cups is not a could. It is like, okay, a new beginning in love is about to happen. I also heard that some of you may be stressed over nothing or like something that doesn't really deserve your attention, Aries. So your person's feelings for you, their view of you, their future actions, where is their relationship going, and your advice. I'm going to have a look at this in the extended, okay, um, along with your blessings and your challenges. So do have a look at the extended linked in the description box below. Oops. So your message for the next three months, guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth imagination let's try to get one more give me one more card for aries please give me one more card for aries oops oops Ooh, we have two so you're definitely being told here to take care of your health you're getting the health card um take care of your mental health your physical health imagination i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind guilt i release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth so i do feel like you're being told here to release some sort of a build-up emotion here especially if it's something negative and you're beating yourself up over something you did and you feel like you shouldn't have done that um for the next three months you're being told here to focus more on your creative side or new ventures new beginnings distracting yourself from any kind of negativity because you've you've uh dealt with it enough you've thought about it enough okay this is a time for you to dive into your sense of creativity your affirmations for the next your affirmation for the next three months is i let go of fear and guilt and i welcome the blessings that are coming my way or I'm open to the blessings that are coming my way. So I let go of guilt and fear. And I'm open to the blessings that are coming my way. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at this fear. <laughs> I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Absolutely. Absolutely. This card was on the floor. But it was like this. Mm, I already told you your affirmation. I didn't know that it was about fear, though, but I said it. I realized that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Mm, don't make things harder for yourself than they need to be. That's the message. So show me what does Aries need to know about their finances? What does Aries need to know? about their finances, please. What does Aries need to know about their finances? Science, some of you could be a, you could be a doctor or someone from the medical field or, you know, some, uh, consider careers in science or any job that unravels the mysteries of the universe. There is something great unfolding for you, so work with an open mind. Yeah, you're getting paused and leadership. See, 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 look at this. I knew it, I knew it, Aries, that, you know, there's something here about a leadership position or stepping into a, I seriously told you that, where is that card? Look at this. Position of authority and leadership. Look at this. I knew it. It's time to step into your leadership role. You can expect to succeed in any leadership position. Your financial, your finances are about to improve. Wow. Especially if there's something that you've worked hard towards in the past. I really feel like things are going to start to pay off for you. Something from the past is coming back. Perhaps an old job or an unfinished project. Look to the past to understand the future. 
a lesson is to be learned. You should be, uh, you sh sorry, you could be earning or receiving money from something you did in the past. There you go. There you go. So that's about it, Aries. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Hope that you were open to receive these messages. Hope that you got something out of the reading. Um, the extended is going to be linked below as well as your 2024 predictions. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.